Hi, I'm Jackie. I'm 51. I've been teaching yoga since the age of 25 and full time. So I've taught over 10,000 yoga classes. I feel a bit stiff this morning and I've just had a shower. I haven't blow dried my hair. I can't be bothered. Uh, I'm going to take you through what I feel like doing to free up around my spine and a bit around my hips when I feel a bit stiff. And you can just follow along with me. It's just going to be really easy and enjoyable. And I'll just guide you through, through like I'm teaching class. I'm going to show you the exercises that just free up your spine, what a yoga teacher would do. So enjoy it. Start centering into your body, mindful of having good posture. And the more you're connected in your body and have your head in the right place and your spine balanced, then you'll have less muscular tension because um, a lot of tension is, you know, everything's in balance. So be, be more mindful of your posture. And if you can be balanced in your feet, balanced in your spine, as balanced as you can be, you will have less tension. Don't sit too much. But <laughs> the reality is we sit too much. We do get stiff. We're getting stiffer and older. So let's start moving our, our spine, which will free up a lot of muscles that get tight around the spine. So starting off just like this, nice relaxed arms. Keep your head, your heavy head on top. I do see a lot of people doing this with their head forward and they're looking down. So I can't see you obviously, but I know that half, 50% of people do have their head forward. So keep correcting your head, pulling it back a bit, lifting your gaze, have just floppy arms. My feet are moving around a little bit. And also switch on your core just a tiny bit. So don't be totally loose like I am here. <laughs> so keep the belly pulled in, just but not tense. So you want a relaxed belly, but not a bulged belly. Okay, so that's a really nice one to weave into your day. This next one, shoulders turning in and out, spinal flexion, spinal extension. Really work on that internal rotation there and the external rotation, and it really does get into the shoulder blades and the shoulder joint, also our spine. So see what I'm doing? Exhale, inhale, or don't worry too much about the breath. Sometimes you just want to move and not worry about meditative movement, just moving. Oh yeah, that's a really good one, that one. This one is just a side to side, a lateral movement for the muscles that get tight, side to side. If you have a sore shoulder, just do this, or a sore neck, otherwise you could bring one elbow up, one elbow down, or you could reach one arm up, one arm down, play around with the different variations because they all have a nice feel. My favourite at the moment is one elbow up, one elbow down. Feels really good in the side muscles. And check with this one. I do see a lot of people, especially tall people. See what I'm doing here? Don't do it like that. It's, it's tensing the lower back. So if you're tall, mindful that you don't arch. So you actually keep your spine balanced. So you're not doing that. You're not leaning forward like that. So be careful of that too. Try to get into a yoga class or a Pilates class where the teacher is really keeping an eye on the students. You don't want to go to a class where the teacher's walking around, listening to their voice, closing their eyes and doing yoga. You want the teacher to be looking. So check that out if you do have a exercise Pilates or yoga teacher. Okay, coming back to flexion extension. Okay, so next one is we're going to draw uh, with, our, with our hands a figure of eight. So it's a spiraling movement, which is also very good for the spine. Spiraling and then back the other direction, which might be hard to coordinate, but just keep, keep trying one way then try go the other way. There'll, there'll be a more natural way. Reverse. 
And now we're going to circle our hips, feet a bit wider than hip width. One way, feeling the hips and the spine here. You can also feel your ankles and knees lubricating. And then back the other way. So motion is lotion. You're actually oiling up with all these movements. Okay, and then go into um, your own random, intuitive, creative, any direction, any direction. Just try to find the sticky, stiff spots around your spine. You might do a neck stretch. You might roll your shoulders. You might circle your wrists. Make a fist and spread your fingers. You might shake a little bit. You might run on the spot a little bit just to get the blood flowing. You might, yeah, just wriggle a bit. Jump or hop or skip or walk or shake or dangle or reach up, twist, twist, forward, extend, side to side. There's infinite directions you could move your spine in. Okay, so coming back to just standing and you've already done just feeling into your spine. You already feel a little bit freer, a little bit more lubricated. We're going to go down to the floor and just do that icing on top and the cherry on top at the end just to complete the freeing up. We can really do a bit more on the floor with our hips and spine with a few of the exercises I'll take you through. So coming down to the floor now, all fours. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips, and into cat cow. Inhale, this is one of the best ones to do when your spine feels stiff. Exhale. Look forward, inhale. Look at your belly button, exhale. Keep moving. Squeeze your belly when you exhale. Feel your belly lengthen when you inhale. So we're plumping the discs, hydrating the discs. We're loosening up some muscles around the spine. We're also stimulating gut flow, lymph flow and blood flow as we contract and lengthen our belly. So good for the brain, the spine, the sewage system, the lymph, the gut, peristalsis. Nothing getting stagnant. Okay, so next one, I'm going to give you an easier option and a harder option. So easier on your neck is you kneel or you stand on your knees and you, you go inhale, exhale, rotate. Inhale. So this is the easier on your wrists, shoulders and your spine. So you can stick with that if you want easier. This one's a bit stronger, so you all fours and you reach one arm up and you reach the other arm up. So there's two options there, whatever's right for you. And this strengthens and loosens your back, this one. Good, good, good. Okay, we're going to lie on our back now and into the windscreen wiper, which a lot of you know from my yoga videos. So you'll be starting to become familiar with all the exercises and mixing it up and seeing how there's so many different ways, sequences, how you can put the poses together. So you start to feel what's right for you. Eventually you won't really need to do a video, you'll just do your own thing. But sometimes it's nice just to follow instructions. And um, the best thing is get to a class because then you're, you're being social, that's the box ticks, ticked, and you, get, you just get more done when you are not at home, you do, you're less distractions, you can really just focus on your body Okay, so that's a great one to loosen the spine and the hips. 
and then hip circles this one. So good as well. Reverse that direction. And then rolling bridge. If you don't know that, have a look first. Don't, try not to turn your head. It's not as safe to turn your head here. So keep your neck centered and you're coming up vertebrae by vertebrae and going down vertebrae by vertebrae. And that's a great one to do most days to mitigate too much sitting. Balance the front and back of the spine. We don't want the discs to start bulging out at the back and causing spasm or, or severe sharp pain. Um, if we keep our spine balanced with these exercises, then we're less likely to have back pain. Okay, we'll do a little glute stretch, which is good for our lower back, like this, and you're just rocking. You're trying to feel the outer hip stretch, abductor stretch. So we're trying not to get too stiff in our hips here. This is a natural flexibility we have when we're younger that we, we want to keep working on, our natural flexibility in our spine and our hips. So unnatural, flexi unnatural flexibility is people put, put their foot behind their head. But natural flexibility, you can actually get this foot fairly close. Not doesn't need to be foot behind the head, but you don't want to get too stiff in that direction. So keep working on this, it's good for you. And then the other, the other leg, it's just really simple stretches that will keep our spine and our hips younger, our body a bit freer and to have less injuries and just feeling better in our body as we get older. Keep moving, keep stretching, keep focusing, putting, putting work into your body because healthcare is, you know, self-care is healthcare. So if you're doing this self-care, you're taking responsibility for your health. Okay, and then hug the knees in. And then roll on, on, onto your right side and come onto your belly. And this is Sphinx pose. So just hold this for about five breaths. This is a really, really good one to do every day as well with the cat cow, with the spinal releases. Try not to just bend into the lower back and the neck. Try to get that lift through the chest. So you might adjust your pubic bone forward and your chin slightly tucking to get a little bit more into the middle back. Less the lower on the neck. But you're trying to get an even stretch through the whole spine. You're using your arm muscles a bit. Try to do this one every day, maybe even a couple of times a day. Okay, and the last one is lying on your back just for a few minutes and this just settles some tight muscles. So you might need two minutes, you might need 10 minutes, depends if it's the morning or the afternoon or how sore your back is. But this is particularly good, just lying back and all the muscles around the spine can let go and throughout the whole body. So just feeling your whole body. If your neck feels arched, most over 50s actually need a folded blanket or pillow under their head. Not all of them. And if your back feels too arched, you can roll a blanket or a, pillow, a couple of pillows under your, under your knees or a bolster. If you're going to stay for a while and it's cold, pull a blanket over you is nice. And if your stress is built up, that often stress causes muscle tension, fight or flight reaction. So it's a slow, deep breaths are very helpful too. Into your belly. 
and sometimes just accepting a bit of pain or tension and that can down regulate pain receptors in the brain so just accepting sometimes there is pain and accepting that doing everything you can to get rid of it but Sometimes just accepting can help as well. And if you feel like you need a bit longer, then try to press stop so you don't get advertisements or anything like that that YouTube will give you. And um, it's nothing to do with me. <laughs> I haven't made one cent off YouTube. I just do it for free because I enjoy it and I enjoy maybe helping whoever you are out there in the world to feel better in your body. And so it's my passion, yoga, teaching yoga, helping people to feel their best. And um, But I especially like teaching yoga in real life to real people. <laughs> To get that interaction so and I like comments on YouTube because that feels like there's a bit of interaction there with comments so I'd love a comment tell me what you want more of tell me what you like what you didn't like how you feel and to come out of the pose roll to the right side or stay for longer I hope you feel a bit freer keep your body moving keep your spine moving enjoy your day if it's the morning or maybe it's the afternoon. Hope you have a healthy dinner and a nice sleep. Thank you.